This whole time, my vest has been inside out. Ugh. Sure enough. Oh, man. I recorded all of this, and my vest was inside out. Ugh. bag of goodies and no they're actually not from value village these are from my favorite veterans thrift store Ugh, this is heavy okay so on sundays and on wednesdays they have 50 percent off the entire store including movies this is cool there's a lot of good stuff in here uh, including movies, 50% off everything store-wide. Uh, I am, uh, I am completely, like, flabbermolasted. Gasted? Flabbergasted? I don't know what you call it. Let me, let me, let me take a sip here. Mmm. There we go. Um, huge, huge selection of stuff in this bag. And we're going to go through everything that's in here. So as you all know, we just finished all of the Nightmare on Elm Street. Yesterday we did eight, oh, part eight. And tomorrow, I'm hoping, if I have time, I'm going to review Freddy vs. Jason. Um, that's the plan, but we'll see. So anyways, let's get back on this. Let's, let's get back on this. Okay, so um, my favorite, my now, now my favorite thrift store is the Veterans Thrift Store. Um, yeah, Sundays and Wednesdays is 50% off the entire store. Uh, well, except furniture. For some reason, they they want to keep full price on furniture, but nothing's actually marked. Whatever. So I'm going to go through this one thing at a time here. I want to show you what I got. So the first thing I got here in my hand is MGM. We got Prancer. Normally $2. Got it for a buck. Uh, excellent shape. Um, it is uh, probably the first release on DVD. Uh, I'm not sure, but for, this is uh, from 1989. Yes. So, got Prancer. And you can't have Prancer without Prancer Returns. <laughs> so I got Prancer and Prancer Returns on DVD. Um, this is probably like 91 or 92. Something. No. Uh, so I got a few Christmas movies. I have a Hallmark movie, Christmas at Holly Lodge. Um, Jordan, Jordan Bridges and Allison Sweeney. So Christmas at Holiday Lodge. Look for a uh, movie review soon. Actually, I'm probably going to do a movie review on all of them soon. You know, just around the corner is Christmas. Come on, it's less than like, what, a month and a half or something like that? Uh, well, not Christmas, December. Um, Candace Cameron, Jess Hutch, and Alan Thicke. Love Alan Thicke. Let It Snow. This is a Hallmark movie. Let It Snow. They had a bunch of these Hallmark movies, so I grabbed them. I, I, I'm a whole, I like Hallmark. Hallmark's not bad. I don't have it the channel uh, anymore. I did when I was a kid, but... Uh, this is Aaron uh, Rockle. Not caught, what, I can't remember, whatever. David Hayden Jones and Alan Thicke. Another Alan Thicke. A cookie Cutter Christmas. Alan Thicke must have uh, must have loved doing Christmas movies. <coughs> is he in the comment section? Is he is he dead? I don't remember if he died or not. Um, Ashley Williams, Teddy Sears, Holly Robinson, Pete, and Barbara Knive, uh, which was from what was that? Oh, there was a show in the. Oh, there was a show in the 90s. 
Oh, it was about a guy. Oh, man. I'm drawing a blank. Christmas in Evergreen. Another Hallmark. Looks quite interesting. This one is... Oh, it's got... um. Oh, what's her name? Della Reese in it. Um, and it's got Tamara... Uh, Maury... Oh, she's from Sister Sister. T and Tamara. Uh, Tamara's in it. Terry Pol Polo and Kevin Sorbo. Christmas Angel. Kind of cool. Um, we got... Ooh, a classic here. Uh, Jimmy Dur Durnate and Terry Moore in A Christmas Wish. Yeah. A lot of Christmas movies here. This is the one I'm really excited for. Radio City Christmas Spectacular. Starring The Rockets. Time Life. Put this one out. Um, I remember watching this. Actually, I remember watching a few of these, but this one is really cool. The Rockets, man. Those girls can kick. Hi. Um, all right, so... Then I have season three of How I Met Your Mother, and uh, it's got the, the little slim cases I like, so that's kind of cool. Then I have uh, Kirk Cameron, There's No Quit in Family, Mercy Rule. That looked interesting. I'm a huge Kirk Cameron fan. I like Drew Barrymore. And I like Candace Cameron. Um, but Kirk Cameron uh, from Growing Pains. I grew up with Kirk. And um, and I follow Kirk uh, religiously. Ha ha ha, pun intended. Um, on Facebook. He is um, he's a really, really good uh, televangelist, preacher. I don't know what you would call him. He's an awesome guy. Um, so I also have... From the director of Saw and Insur In Insidose, whatever, who cares? Um, the Conjuring on DVD. The Conjuring. Um, so, got got to dig deep now. Now I'm digging deep. I have Robin Williams, Mandy Moore, and John Cass. Krasinski, uh, whatever. Another one. <laughs> um, License to Wed. Come on, come on. Robin Williams. He's the star. Robin Williams. Um, so I didn't have that in my collection, so I grabbed that. And then uh, I have season number five of Andy Griffith in Matlock. So now I have season five, my first season to this collection. Um, I don't have, this is the, I don't have any of them. This is the first one. So this is pretty cool. And this thing's heavy. Um, there is seriously like a lot of discs in here. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six discs set. So, um, but fifth, the fifth season of Matlock. And I grew up with Matlock. Ooh, this one's cool. We have season two of King and Queens. So that's cool. Again, first season I own. I don't own any other King and Queens. But again, this was a really funny show. Um, at least for what I can remember. Uh, we can go to season two of How I Met uh, Your Mother. Um, this, you know, okay, so this show, I, I've heard a lot about it. A lot of people have told me it was really good, uh, minus the ending. The ending of it was, I mean, spoiler alert, the ending wasn't uh, quite that good. Uh, Lewis Black, Unleashed, stand-up comic. Uh, Lewis Black is um, kind of dirty, raunchy. Um, you know, it's, it's a Comedy Central presents. It's, it's what it is. Um, 
Oh, we have the Expendables. I thought I owned this on Blu-ray. Apparently, I did not. So we have the Expendables. Man, this has got um, Stallone, Stamen. Uh, uh, who is this? Austin. Who's Austin? Not that wrestler guy. Um, Cruz, Willis. They're only giving my first and na last names. What the heck? Uh, we have Ken Blackwell, Paul Herb. Oh, this is not even it. What the heck? That's, that's music. <sighs> Give me a minute. Sorry. I'm looking for the cast. It doesn't even give the cast on here. Sylvester Stallone. David Cullum. He's in here twice. What? Oh, screenplay. Huh. Whatever. All these cool guys. <laughs> um, it's a, it, honestly, it's a movie about a bunch of guys that are making a movie, and they're all dried up, gone actors for the most part. Um, we got some Chevy Chase and Palance. Uh, we got Cops and Robertsons. Cops and Robertsons. A little bit older flick. 2001 is what this says. I've never seen it, so... And I don't have it in my collection, so I thought I'd grab it. Ah, okay. So I own this movie. I want to say it's right freaking here. I have it. I know I have this movie, and it's like, seriously? Here it is. This is a replacement movie. I've sent... Scent of a Woman. Now... I have it on DVD. So VHS, I will, uh, it's a very good copy. I'll probably hold on to this and put it in my display cabinet. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, a great, great film. Absolutely awe-inspiring. I got, made sure uh, when I, I, I didn't, I wasn't going to grab it if it wasn't, but it's widescreen. So I grabbed it. I was like, yes, got it. Yeah. Um, but, um, Al Pacino is amazing in this. He really is raw Pacino and he, he does it in like an arrogant, angry, um, just a frustrated with life kind of way. It's just amazing. He's a, he's a veteran. He lost his sight. He's just mad at the world and he wants to die. And, and, uh, yeah, so great movie. And, um, the ending is pretty sad, but it's okay. I'm gonna put this back on the shelf for a moment. Um, the scent of a woman. I I think I'm gonna have to do a movie review on that shortly. Um, I will probably do it in January time frame, mm. or maybe even February. I have plans for January. Ah. Uh. And my plan is to take November off because I'm getting burned out. All right, so I have some David Hasselhoff here. I've never, let me set this down. I've never seen, um, well, I've seen a couple of David Hasselhoff movies, but I've never seen this one, and uh, it looks really interesting. This is called Bailout. And it's brand new, factory sealed. It, it's already in a slim case. And I'm a huge fan of these slim cases. I think they're awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here with you if I can. Um, so I saw this and I immediately was like, wow, David Hasselhoff. Now, I understand that he is not a good actor. I understand he puts people to sleep. Um... David Hasselhoff has got a reputation um, that uh, doesn't seem to do him any good. <laughs> I know nothing about this, um, but 
bailout looks in for, you know, it looks entertaining just based on the fact that it's David Hasselhoff. Apparently this guy sings, but he ain't any good. And then like Germany or someplace really loves him. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, a money hungry, uh, bell bondsman sees an opportunity to cash in when a wealthy hairless, uh, hair, Harris is caught with a n notorious drug lord. Notorious drug lord. He stands to make millions if she is appears in court. If she appears in court. When things get complicated, he hires bounty hunters. Hunter David Hasselhoff to make sure this investment pays off. Um... I don't care. It's David. So I'm adding that to my collection and it's in a thin case. That's cool. Um, this one, I, I really kind of um, got my attention. I thought maybe it was a Christmas movie. I'm going to watch it and we'll see if it is. It doesn't say anything on here about in the descriptions, whether or not it is. It's a winter passage. I've never seen this. Um, there's a, bunch of great actors in this thing. Um, Ed Harris is in it. Okay, I'll be with you in a minute. Um, see, Zuli Deschal, I don't know how you say her name. Will Ferrell's in it. And uh, Amelia Warren is in this. In this. Um, but I, I was reading it, and there's nothing in there about Christmas. But with the name... Winter Passage. It almost makes you think maybe it's a Christmas movie. I hope, but it looks like it's funny. So, um, Ebert and Ropert said it was funny. Okay, so I grabbed this when uh, a while back we did, um, well, I did New Moon and the daughter did, I don't know, another Twilight movie. Uh, the last one. I think she did the last one. I realized that time I didn't own the first one. So I grabbed Twilight. This is a widescreen. Um, I have seen it uh, twice in the theater. First time mistakenly, second time unwillingly. And I think I saw it maybe once at home. I do not plan on ever watching this again. However, I have obviously family members who like this movie. Um, so it will be added to my collection. So don't hold that one against me, please. All right. And in my big brown bag. Oh, hi, arm. Hello. Uh, in my brown bag, I have two more left. I have season four of How I Met Your Mother. So that's kind of cool. So there's a few seasons there. And I have season one, How I Met Your Mother. A love story in reverse. And that is true. How I Met Your Mother is definitely that. It is a love story in reverse. And drawn out. And slow. And mind-boggling what the heck. There are a lot of funny moments. There's a lot of drama moments. But that is what it is. So, um... La, 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 la. I can't get, oh, I can't get them all in there. Look at that. So this is what I found um, just the other day. It was on, I think it was on last Sunday. So this is what I got. This is what I found. Uh, gonna be adding this uh, pile to the collection. I am, I'm gonna sit right back down. Uh, really super excited about that. So um, yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. That's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm, I've taken almost 20 minutes of your time today. Um, but I want to say thank you for joining me. Um, if you're not yet subscribed, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Ring that bell. Thumbs up. You know how it works. And until next time, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And bye for now.